Hello everyone, welcome to GK Today and in this video we are going to discuss about floating solar energy project. The government of India is to construct the largest floating solar energy project in the world and this project is to be constructed at Omkareshwar Dam on Narmada River. See the project will begin its power generation by 2022 to 2023. What is the energy capacity of the project? So 600 megawatts of solar energy is the energy capacity of this particular project. What is the estimated cost of the project? So 3000 crores of rupees is the estimated cost of the project and talking about which international organizations are to provide financial assistance to the project. So it is the International Finance, uh, Finance Corporation, IFC and the World Bank. So now let's discuss what are the key features of the project. So the project is to have floating solar panels of 600 megawatts of power generation capacity. The solar panels are to be installed over the backwaters of the Omkareshwar Dam and the project is to be completed in two years. The electricity is to be generated in about 2000 hectares of water area by installing solar panels in the dam. And the solar panels will automatically adjust upward and downward based on the water level of the dam and the floods and strong waves will not have any effect on the solar panels. So the solar panels are to float on the surface of water. So what is a floating solar power plant? See basically the floating solar power plant refers, refers to solar panels installed on structures that float on the surface of water. Now what are the two types of floating solar power plant? See firstly the photo, uh, floating photovoltaic solar power plant that uses photovoltaic panels installed on floating platform. And the second type is floating concentrated solar power system. Well, basically this system uses mirrors to redirect the solar power to a tower. So now let's discuss what are the advantages of floating solar power plant. So firstly no land occupancy. Secondly, they help to reduce water evaporation, therefore uh, it is highly uh, water saving. And thirdly, solar power plants have a natural cooling system generated by the water layer beneath the panels.